What's up, y'all? Super random again. I'm back with a video you just wouldn't expect because I didn't expect to make it when I woke up today. I'll get right into it. I woke up and I saw someone posted on their story like a clip from Blank Check, and they're like, how ridiculous is this? And I posted a video, like a the like trailer. From Walt Disney Pictures, Carl Quigley just stole a million dollars. Hello, beautiful. But by accident, Preston Waters. Look on my bike! If I check for your dad, you'll know what to do with it. Check. He's going to end up with it. Yeah! Now he's getting everything he ever wanted. Doing everything he ever dreamed. Baby bro that comes into his own. And teaching some careless crook <laughs> that crime doesn't pay. That must have hurt. Disney's Blank Check, rated PG. Now playing at a theater near you. With some bullet points. And then I, I, and I just been sitting here like, you know what? I need to talk about Blank Check. But I can't talk about Blank Check without talking about Richie Rich. He has his own baseball coach, his own theme park, and personal trainer. Hi, Richie. Yikes. But he's about to discover what he needs most is friends. This place probably's got its own zip code. It must be cool to have everything. You can join the world's richest kid on the world's most incredible adventure. <laughs> Macaulay Culkin, Richie Rich, rated PG. Now playing at a theater near you. Richie Rich and Blank Check came out in the same year, 1994. And I think comparing them both is important. And also letting you guys know a little secret about these movies. They're kind of black movies. I don't mean that they were intended to be so. I just know like a lot of black kids love these movies. Uh, I would argue that if you are broke, you're going to like uh, a video of people spending a lot of money more. Uh, both these movies star white kids, and I didn't know any broke white kids. And even if they felt broke, to me, they didn't seem broke. I'd be like, what? And they'd be like, nah, we don't have anything. I'm like, you got Rice Krispie treats, dog. You Richie Rich out here. Well, let's start with Richie Rich, which I had on the B side of a VHS that had the A side, uh, I believe it was Major Pain. Major Pain starring Damon Wayans was on one side of this tape, and Richie Rich starring Macaulay Culkin was on the other. That's how tied together this movie was with the culture in 94. To summarize, Richie Rich is, you know, about a very, very wealthy kid from a wealthy family whose parents really, really love each other. They really, 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 really love each other. They love each other so much so that they put a, a Mount Rushmore of themselves on the side of a mountain. Mount Richmore? Hmm. Oh, I said we needed a family portrait, Regina. But this? Well, it was Raphaela's idea. She's the artist. I didn't want to stifle her creativity. Oh. Uh, to hold all their most valuable possessions, their vault. Uh, Richie works with this scientist named Bean to use all of his infinite money to create like cool and different, like not even toys, like things that like, what, why would you ever need that? Like, I don't know, he has like a bumblebee that can like spy on people and like, I don't know, like a, man, a lot of like weird, like Urkel type inventions come out of uh, Richie Rich's house. What ends up happening is, he goes and plays baseball with some kids on the street that he just sees and they like don't like him because he's good and he's rich and he came out of like a limo. But the limo driver, like the butler and the mom of one of the kids starts getting it on. By the way, all the kids, it's basically like United Colors of Benetton. It's like every movie, every show in the night. It's like Captain Planet. There's one of each race uh, and gender. <laughs> uh, uh, and then so they go back to Richie's house eventually like because the, the romance between the parents got to keep it, you know, hot for the zaddies uh and they love all this stuff and they end up loving him and eventually the bad guy tries to steal all the money but richie's inventions and gadgets basically stop him and there's two takeaways from that movie one that you are nothing without your friends like they came from nothing and they were happier than him who had everything and the lesson is that you find everything in other people uh and the vault, number two, uh, was just filled with, like, trinkets. Please state the code for voice check. Open it now. Open it. Oh, we ain't got a barrel of money. Maybe we're ragged and funny. But we'll travel along singing our song side by side. Code accepted. 
Thank you, Beavis and Butthead. Uh, which really pissed off the bad guy. Uh, was it Tim Robbins? Uh, I don't know. I can't really index that right now because uh, I'm just picturing like Shawshank Redemption. It doesn't add up to me. Uh, anyways, so let's go to blank check, which could not be more different even though it's the same. And again, all the black kids loved it. Uh, blank check is about a broke white kid, which is rare, who has like very adult problems. Like, like it's like his life costs too much. <laughs> Tickets, Toad. Damien. You need some cash? Nah, we got a bunch of change. Later, Preston. It's not fair. Why can't I have anything? Well, Preston, they have jobs and they've learned to say. <laughs> and it like, doesn't make sense because he's nine, but he's just like, I, I don't remember his exact problems, but it, it almost feels like he's like behind in his taxes. He's like, Ugh, like another day of the money cruncher. And I'm like, how do you have all these issues? Uh, but it felt relatable. Like as a kid, you're like, yeah, parents don't understand our problems. Uh, so Preston gets run over, like his bike gets run over by like a dude who just stole a million dollars. And the dude is thinking like, if I write this kid a blank check, he's going to take it to his parents. The parents are going to say, no, 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 that's not ethical, son. Uh, and won't ever cash it. But Preston goes in, enters in a million dollars and cashes this blank check. Immediately today, it would be like a way higher number. It'd have to be a billion dollars. Uh, and... The kid would never like leave the house. He would just spend it on like Minecraft and Roblox. Uh, and anybody with kids knows that. I don't even have kids and I know that. But in the movie, this kid buys everything that exists. I want to say it that way on purpose. Because Richie Rich kind of built a bunch of stuff. Preston bought everything. And it was hot shit. He had a water slide that went from the second floor down to the pool. He had like the sumo suits. He had a lot of stuff that was like actually at my like high school graduation, like grad night. Like the stuff they like rented for that was a lot of the same stuff he just like bought for his house. And again, it was lit. Uh, he didn't just buy things though. He kind of bought influence in people. Like, like this kid was nine and he's going in. He like got a mortgage somehow. Like a, a <laughs> he was being investigated by the FBI, but like the woman, a very attractive lady in her late twenties, I assume like kind of falls in love with him and they go on, on, on a date. Like, bro, they dance in like, there's like this water scene where she gets all wet and they're like playing in the water. And I'm like, bro, what <laughs> boy, mom, uh, what, what is this? What is this? <laughs> I remember thinking that at nine, like, like, am I allowed? My mom usually stops me from seeing these parts of movies, but this is like PG. So sure. In the end, you know, I don't know, he already spent all the money. He doesn't end up getting in trouble. The bad guy goes to jail. The moral kind of seems to be, you can have everything you want. You just have to work for it. You did it too fast, Preston. You can still go buy a bunch of shit. You can still go buy a girlfriend. Just not today. You're nine. And this is where I think, why well, I think I have to highlight these two movies as I'm thinking about them today. They came out in the same year. I think that Richie Rich produces more people who are creative. Yes, he has all the resources in the world, but he also has an inventive mind and he works with a scientist who actually knows how to complete the task, which makes him like not an Elon Musk type, <laughs> right? Like he, he's smart, they're smart, but they're also like imaginative. Now, the average creative doesn't have all those resources, but you come to find out that with very little, you can build a lot of things, a lot of things you would never expect. Just with any resources, you can. The point is, that was an imaginative, like, version. And the imagination was important in the goal of the movie. And in the end, friendship was the reward. In the other movie, it is just get money, buy shit. The end. I don't know. It's like... Oh, well, uh... Macintosh wasn't... He... He wasn't who he thought he was. How do you mean? Uh, he shouldn't have done what he did. I mean, he shouldn't have fooled everybody. I think you're right. 